So the purpose of my role is uh, I'm a clinical academic in geriatric medicine, so I split my time between providing clinical care to older people with frailty uh, and uh, also doing research and teaching uh, around uh, care for older people. So in the average working day, in the average working week, I'm working with a variety of physiotherapists, occupational therapists, social workers, speech and language therapists, and probably most importantly in the mix, nurses. It's immensely rewarding working with all these colleagues from other specialties. Um, and you quickly become aware of how their expertise is complementary and it supports uh, you know, a good doctor in terms of, of, of making decisions. I think you have to realise when you're doing geriatric medicine that you're often dealing with patients who are uh, getting near to the end of their life and that can be emotionally draining if you um, find that sort of thing challenging. I must say that what I find quite rewarding is the ability to uh, recognise patients who are dying, uh, to uh, support them through that process uh, and to sure, ensure that they get the best possible care available so that that experience is as comfortable as possible for them. I don't think I could describe my role in one word, but I, I, I'll choose two words if you indulge me, and I think that would be endlessly stimulating. Here's a, a group of patients who are in, immensely intellectually challenging to work with, um, immensely rewarding to work with, and that there's an opportunity to feel that you're really making a difference every single day. It, there's a feeling that the health service is often looking to us as geriatricians to come up with solutions. So every day you, there's, there's someone else coming to you with a different aspect to the problem that you're helping to solve. I just can't ever really foresee a, a time at any point where I'm going to run out of uh, inspiration or stimulation doing what I do on a day-to-day -day basis.